Oh, what a cute little puppy on the duckling here. Just kind of looks a little like, like shaky or cold. I can't really tell. What do you think? Welcome back to another episode of Funny Animal Moments where we're going to be laughing at, or actually today we're not going to be laughing. We're going to be watching the sweetest animal moments um, that I found online or on TikTok and I'm super excited to share them. Sources will be linked below. Go check out my Patreon full of different stories, different trying things, and then my fun fact channel as well, which I'll leave the description below, plus my Spotify full of travel stories and adventures. Okay, let's get right into the videos here. Okay, let's see what we have here. Brave baby elephant says hi to tourists. Oh, it just comes marching over. Like, hi, hi, come check out all of my land. Oh, <laughs> can't stop laughing when spinning. That's so cute. Sorry, my eyes have been bugging me today. Oh. Baby hippo and baby giraffe meet for the first time. So cute. A little nervous. That's adorable. That horses act crazy to calm a scared child. That's funny. Wouldn't that make a child more scared? Maybe not. Depends. That's really cool though. <laughs> the horse. Come on. This man sings his donkey to sleep. Oh my god, what a little baby. Little suck that donkey is. What do you guys think? Do you have any sweet moments to share with your animals? Let me know in the comments below. Part two, sorry. Oh my god, my eyes. Fro this photographer froze when a dangerous cheetah approached him, but little did he know he was injured. He quickly... It's her friend's rescue center, and after she got better, the man went to say her goodbye before she was back into the wild. But after two weeks, suddenly the same cheetah showed up. She immediately approached the car and climbed onto the roof. The man was stunned because he had never seen a cheetah behave this way. Tried to make some pic take some pictures, and as carefully as he got closer, only to realize she still remembered him. She kept greeting him whenever he went there. The cheetah led him to a place, and to the surprise, she was trying to introduce her to him to the babies and to babysit so she could take a nap that's so cute oh i wonder how long cheetahs uh keep their babies until the babies go off on their own i'm curious to know with that wildlife but look how pretty she's just like looking at him like i'm so pretty come help me i'm so cute come help me it's so neat to see uh wild animals meeting um people but in a harmless way not a threatening way it's kind of neat to see that i love that um i love the things that she gives him it's really cute i've never you know i have never encountered a well i have encountered one but not like just accidentally it was like a, a little thing that they did like uh, in myrtle beach where they took you got to take pictures with um like tigers and monkeys and stuff which was really cool however there was there's a lot of um, like backlash I think with it because you they I don't know if this this is true or not but I heard that they sedated their animals and stuff so I, I don't know I don't want to say anything but that's that one let's move but that was really sweet it's cool how like when the cheetah he ducks when he when the cheetah kind of comes closer like when they go head to head it's kind of neat like it's a cool way to greet okay here we go. Oh, little duck. Oh, little puppy. Looks like he's shaking and frozen and cold, but he looks kind of nervous about something, and the duck is just taking care of him. There's multiple ducks. Oh, oh, look at the dog and the chickie. Like, You're mine now. You're my friend now. Oh, the dog's grown. Oh, little puppy is sleeping. This against the chickadee. Aw, can I keep his eyes open? How do you separate something like that? That is the cutest thing ever. And the chicken and the dog puppy who's like shy and shaking. Aw. Chicken's like, come here, I'll protect you. That's so sweet. I would love that, honestly. Cutest thing ever. 
puppy and his chicky. Aww. That's so cute. That's the cutest thing ever. I love it. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, next one. This boy accidentally became friends with a hummingbird. Uh, the returning mother didn't notice she feeds her babies the food. The bird is the smallest bird in the world. And you could see in the, the mother is about the size of a finger. Not to mention the young. They're probably the size of a boy's finger now. This hummingbird raised... That's so neat. So he must have some kind of um, relationship with this bird because... Clearly, he, you would think birds uh, would definitely, like, hit you or bite you or something, right? The male will, will interact with the female, but they don't participate in parenting. The female usually builds in the nest alone and incubates, incubates and raises them to attract other females. He may have more than one family. Hummingbirds are relatively small, so it's not particularly difficult to build a nest. And the mother is very clever. She chooses branches full of spines because of their small size and creature would be a threat for the safety of her babies. This is perfect place for her and she fed them. Mama bird noticed something was wrong. Looking at this particular branch, the mother bird pecked at the boy and the boy didn't move. Instead, he played with the mama and the mama bird enjoyed it. She bobbed her head and enjoyed the boy's touch and she happily puts her babies to bed. This little bird is terrified uh, when someone passes. They fly. Not to mention playing with people. If you think this is weird, please comment 999. The, bo the reason the boy interacted with this hummingbird because he often comes here to see them. See, the mom bird is no stranger to uh, to him and she knew the boy meant no harm. As time went on, they got to know each other better. The mama bird and the boy became good friends. The mama bird would often play with, with the boy. She even enjoyed the boy's touch and the boy often came to see them. Perhaps only a good person can do this. This is a proof of harmony between man and nature carrying the responsibility of all of us protecting each other is the best way for ordinary people to do no harm 20 days later the little ones are getting bigger they've outgrown their tiny nest under the guidance of their mother they're about to be taught by their mother um that's awesome that sounds like a great that's crazy how fast birds like grow the man put his hands on the birds but the returning mother bird didn't notice she feeds her babies. Oh, that's at the beginning. Oops. Uh, that's cool. I've never seen that before. I've never heard of that. Well, I heard of like a tiny bird. That's a like one of the tiniest ones in the world, apparently. It's kind of cute though, the little nest uh, for her babies. It's kind of cool how she was like, the, like she didn't even care the the man was just there chilling out. Usually a bird would like really peck at you or something, I think, when they're trying to protect their babies. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I do think I missed one though. Okay, here we go. Do the animals like hugs? So Sandman likes it. Eddie, uh, of course, gets super excited. House, house. Yeah, obviously. Also wants you to scratch. Oh, is confused. Jimmy gives the cold shoulder. Pooh likes it, but also chomps. Giving the bears treats. Aw. Really happy with the treats. Peanuts, eh? That's a big grizzly bear. Oh, Likes it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, You're not going to believe this. Bears are supposed to eat anything, right? Not these guys. They are so picky, so they won't even eat a hot dog. My dogs go crazy for them. Which animals fit your best mood? Pooh, always hungry. House, just wants attention. Uh, Jimmy, ready to party. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Easily, Eddie, easy, easily excited. I'm the one who's always hungry. 100%. Always hungry. What is yours? Who is your personality? Which animal um, would suit you best on here? And aren't they the sweetest moments? Let me know in the comments if you have sweet mom if you've seen sweet moments between animals or if you have any to share yourself. Okay, on to the oh, on to the last one. Here we go. Oh, oh, look at all the kitty kitties. 
Aww. Aww, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> I love the, the blanket of the kittens. That's so awesome. Okay, that is it for me, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I can't wait to share more. This Friday will be a bunch of funny animal stories. So definitely leave the comments of if you or email me if you have any questions or stories to sh you like me to share. Other than that, you're all free to go. Have a good day. Bye now.